If you paid attention to a random music video released during Penicony, you'd notice a weird version of the Trailblazer wearing a hat. And yes this happens to be our official design for Harmony Trailblazer. Like the Preservation Trailblazer, this new version of TB is a really unique idea of what a character that follows the Harmony path should be like, having a really wacky but fun kit focusing on dealing break damage and buffing break related things. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Harmony Trailblazer has a fairly normal kit at first glance, having a regular basic attack dealing some imaginary damage to a single target. Their skill is also fairly normal looking at first glance. Working similar to Sampo's, this ability deals bounce imaginary damage scaling off attack. The scalings on this ability are fairly low, but you can definitely tell that its main purpose isn't to do damage, but to help quickly break the enemy. Since most of Harmony Trailblazer's buffing and special abilities mostly come from Traces and Ultimate, I could see them being extremely skill point efficient, only skilling to further contribute to breaking enemies or to regenerate some extra energy. Harmony Trailblazer's ultimate applies a special effect to all allies, lasting for three turns. This effect is tired to the Trailblazer's own turn counter, meaning that things such as action advances and really fast teammates won't eat through the buff too fast. The effect itself makes it so whenever an ally with the effect attacks an enemy that is already broken, they will deal damage to up to 120% of the attacker's break damage. This means that you can deal the initial damage of a break over and over again whilst an enemy is broken. Basically turning breaking from being extremely backloaded to a consistent sustained damage option. This is obviously extremely good due to Trailblazer basically removing the one negative aspect of breaking, whilst also further buffing it throughout the rest of their kit. Their talent is also very simple, but effective for the context of how important their ultimate is, gaining energy whenever an enemy target is weakness broken. As I said before, Harmony Trailblazer's buffing is mostly spread out within their traces and idolins, and their first trace is a great example of this. It additionally delays the enemy target's action by 30% when teammates break enemy weaknesses. When combined with their ultimate, this trace works offensively and defensively, increasing the duration of the ultimate effect resulting in a ton more damage whilst also working defensively, as it extends the duration of the break itself, meaning that enemies are spending time hitting you way less. With characters like Welt and Ruan Mei to further extend the delay, you can basically just delete the enemy from the game, preventing them from taking any turns at all. Trailblazer's second trace additionally increases the amount of toughness damage the first skill inflicted in a battle does. This trace is also really strong as it basically guarantees you a break really early on in the battle. Trailblazer's final trace further buffs their ultimate effect, increasing the break damage triggered by the ultimate effect by 30% when there are 5 or more enemy targets. However, this trace has a second effect, getting stronger the less enemies there is by increasing the damage of the ultimate effect further for each number of enemies there are below 5, leading to a 120% when there are 5 or more enemy targets, the break damage triggered by the backup dancer effect increases by 30%. For every enemy target reduced, the break damage triggered by the backup dancer effect additionally increases by 10%, maxing out at a 70% increase to the ultimate effect, almost doubling the damage that comes from it. Harmony Trailblazer has some of the best traces in the game, with each serving a big purpose in making their kit really interesting to me, but their idolins may even be better than the traces. Harmony Trailblazer's E1 synergizes great with the trace that buffs the first skill in a battle, as this idolin recovers a skill point after using the skill for the first time in a battle. Like I said before, Harmony Trailblazer can be played as an extremely skill point efficient character, with you being able to use the empowered skill and still not spend a single skill point. This is only the start though, their E2 further helps them with getting their ultimate up at the start of the battle, increasing the Trailblazer's energy regeneration rate by 25% at the start of battle, lasting for 3 turns. Harmony Trailblazer's E4 might actually be one of the best ones in the entire game, Increasing the break effect of all allies except the Trailblazer by a percentage of their own break effect plus a flat amount. 
You can easily grant teammates over 100 break effect for completely free with this Eidolon. And remember that you get all of these for free, so this is basically just part of their base kit. Their final Eidolon makes their skill even more efficient at breaking, increasing the amount of times the skill hits by 2, raising it to 7 times total. Overall, Harmony Trailblazer's Eidolons are extremely strong, strong enough to the point where I would say it's actually worth doing boring exploration for. Their E4 seems pretty irreplaceable to me in terms of their overall value and it is extremely important for pretty much any break-focused team now and in the future. So if you had a place to stop, it would definitely be there. Harmony Trailblazer looks as if they will be a core member of many break teams in the future, with an extremely versatile and strong damaging kit that not only makes breaking must more viable as a damaging option, but is extremely accessible and has a lot of synergy with characters like Luka and Boothill. Their most notable synergies comes with Ruan Mei, whose break effect buff creates a feedback loop with Harmony Trailblazer's fourth idol and this then further increases Ruan Mei's own personal damage which scales even more with their ultimate now. Additionally, the main damage dealer that make the most of them is Boothill, whose kit is centered around breaking the enemy and dealing additional break damage when attacking an already broken target just like Imaginary Trailblazer does. Like I mentioned before, Luka should also have a great amount of synergy on a break effect build, as with Imaginary Trailblazer in the picture. Luka can now deal his once big, but singular break nukes multiple times per enemy, without worrying about their place in the action bar, as they no longer need to recover their toughness meter to receive the damage. Another thing worth keeping in mind is that the Trailblazer gets to use the Watchmaker set with ease, so he will be able to give a tremendous amount of break effect which can ease in the building of break scaling characters such as Shuei or Boodle. But anyways, that's enough yapping from me. Like always, remember that with any character speculation, you have to keep in mind that the information we have is based on what we currently know, and things will most definitely change throughout the next few weeks or so. So stay tuned for updates from me if you're interested in that stuff. Anyways, what are your thoughts on Imaginary Trailblazer? Share your speculations in the comments below, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.